Hello, my name is Diane Damiano, and on behalf of myself, my co-author, Agmar Longo, we are presenting you this podcast for developmental medicine and child neurology. This one is on our recently published paper entitled Early Intervention Evidence for Infants with or at Risk for Cerebral Palsy, an Overview of Systematic Reviews. We used to believe that early brain injuries were incurable. However, starting in the, at the turn of the millennium, neuroscience evidence of brain plasticity and the enhanced potential for this earlier in development has emerged. The even more amazing evidence from animal studies showing recovery of brain injuries and the associated behavioral deficits from very early intervention has led to renewed hope for similar possibilities for infants with brain injuries such as cerebral palsy. Two remarkable examples of what may be achievable are the study by Colvin colleagues on neonatal rats with brain injuries who recovered after receiving early tactile stimulation, and the study by Freeland Martin on unilateral brain injuries in kittens who recovered after early but not later intensive upper limb training. These findings have re-energized the field of early intervention with earlier identification now possible and being implemented in many settings. Ideally, intervention should be initiated before capabilities are emerging, with each aspect of development having its own unique time window. For example, shown here for the visual system, uh, this window opens soon after birth. However, for the motor system, this is within the first three to six months of life. Given the fact that earlier diagnosis of CP is now possible by this early period, and at least by five months of age for many with CP, this really has opened the door for change in the field of early intervention. Our goals in this paper were to review the latest evidence on the efficacy or effectiveness of early motor interventions for enhancing developmental outcomes. And we also wanted to serve, have this serve as a benchmark for future very early studies if there was not a suggestion already that very early um, studies were more effective. Our PICO question was for infants zero to three years with or at risk for cerebral palsy, which motor interventions demonstrate efficacy or effectiveness in improving motor and cognitive development compared to a controller or alternative treatment? Given that several systematic reviews had already been published in recent years, we decided to perform an overview of these as a first step using this newer methodology recommended by Cochrane. Overviews are recommended when the systematic reviews are fairly recent. The overlap across reviews in the primary studies is minimal. When review PICO questions are narrower and different from the overview one, and available data are of high quality. Data may be summarized at the level of the review or the primary studies and then evaluated for quality. A search of more recent data may also be warranted. This is the PRISMA flow diagram of our search for the systematic reviews. These show the databases in the blue box. And we found over 800 records. Finally, we reviewed 20 of one full text and then identifying three reviews. Both authors performed each step independently, and then we reached consensus. In the three systematic reviews, we found 46 unique or non-overlapping studies, four of which were RCTs, and 12 were non-randomized cohort studies. The most recent review was from 2017. So we also searched for RCTs from 2015 to 2020 using the same databases and criteria and identified six new studies. And finally, 22 studies or 10 RCTs and 12 non-randomized cohort studies were reviewed in 858 total patients. The evaluation of data quality then followed. First, at the level of the systematic reviews, we used a measurement tool for systematic reviews that's been revised, or the AMPSTAR-2. The bold letters indicate the critical elements that determine the overall rating. And you can see 
that two of these were only partly addressed, as indicated in yellow, by the reviews, with the fact that the search was only in Eng English literature considered a significant limitation. Then we reviewed the quality of the RCTs using the risk of bias tool, or ROB2, recommended by Cochrane, which revealed multiple bias risks in all but the Morgan um, RCT. The risk of bias for their non-randomized trials was reported within the reviews themselves, again revealing considerable risks in most studies. Our results were similar to those presented in the 2019 traffic light summary shown here. As you can see on the right for early intervention where there's really no true winners or losers and very little data compared to the whole cohort of children with CP. Motor outcomes revealed some interventions showed small positive effect sizes, um, such as game compared to standard of care pilot and NDT compared to developmental stimulation with developmental stimulation being favored. We found moderate effect sizes for constraint induced movement therapy compared to standard of care and trunk electrical stim compared to NDT. As far as cognitive outcomes, three studies that were also included in the Enriched Environment Review showed positive small effect changes, size changes in those outcomes. To answer the question is earlier better, we did identify two studies enrolling babies within the first six months of life that demonstrated positive motor outcomes, suggesting that it might be, but the jury is still out. To summarize, only a few interventions showed positive effects on a handful of outcomes. Effectiveness or lack of may be due to the type of intervention that is done, the dose or not doing enough, and not doing it at the right time. From this review, we can generally conclude that interventions that were active and presented intensive motor challenges in stimulating environments were more likely to be effective. Higher doses and home-based parent interaction um, strategies tend to be more effective, but not exclusively. And earlier appears to be promising, but several recently published protocols on early RCTs, or very early RCTs, suggest we may have a better answer soon. Thank you very much for listening, and we hope you all enjoyed the article.